Hey guys, PA Pipe Smoker here. I'm going to be doing a review on this tobacco I have here. This is called Casey Jones Heroes Blend. And if you look right there, there's a giant steam engine puffing away with smoke. <laughs> That's awesome. A um, little brief history on Casey Jones. If you haven't, uh, it's Casey Jones is kind of a household name, but I'm going to give you the brief history of Casey Jones. Um, Casey Jones was a, a steam engine engineer. Um, he passed away in 1900 in an accident. Casey Jones was known for his speed. Um, basically what happened was he was covering a shift for a fellow engineer that was sick. And Casey Jones, for whatever reason, was running an hour and a half behind his schedule. And Casey Jones was known for being on time and known for his speed. Um, Casey Jones decided to make up an hour and a half to try to get that train on time and on schedule. Um, Casey Jones got the train up to 100 miles an hour. Um, there was word that there was a train stopped on the tracks up ahead, and when they came around a bend, as the story I know, they came around a bend, and Casey Jones saw the train, he held the brake, he grabbed the horn, and he yelled to his fireman, who, the fireman is the person who is in charge of getting the coal or wood into the steam engine, whether it's shoveling or whether it's the, um, uh, they use like a, a screw mechanism. I'm pretty sure back then in 1900, I'm assuming they just shoveled it. So that was the fireman's job to keep the fire lit. Uh, Casey Jones yelled to his fireman, jump, jump, and his fireman jumped, uh, which ultimately saved his life. Um, the Casey Jones' engine did impact the other train. Casey Jones was on the horn and on the brake at the same time and actually got caught in the throat with a piece of the train he was operating and ultimately uh, sacrificed his life. He could have jumped, but he remained on the horn and on the brake, ultimately making him a hero. Nobody else died in that collision, uh, surprisingly. Nobody else actually died except Casey Jones, which I think is part of that legend that goes on. So, somebody that knew him well wrote a folk song about him, and Vaudeville took that song over, and it was passed up through time, and Casey Jones became a household name and a legend, if you will, within the uh, steam train era. Okay, but they made uh, Casey Jones Heroes Blend pipe tobacco, which I'm actually going to be smoking out of my uh, Missouri Marishime Country Gentleman. Now, I have a few pipe. I usually keep about three different blends or tobaccos going at once. So this pouch is actually almost done. Um, I actually wanted to save this for the video, so I didn't smoke it all. Uh, what I do, though, I have about two pipes per um, tobacco blends or tobaccos that I, I, I rotate with. So, this is my Country Gentleman, uh, Missouri Maritime Country Gentleman pipe. This has a filter in it. Um, I mentioned this before I use these... Um, these type of filters in my pipes. Um, I don't always use them, but I just ordered a bunch from there. They're really cheap. Um, these pipes, I usually like pipes that have a filter. That way I don't get tobacco coming up the stem into my mouth. Um, but what I normally do with my three uh, blends, or my three tobaccos, whichever, is I have two separate pipes that I use at the same time um, per tobacco. So let's say I'm smoking my Casey Jones tobacco and I really like it that day. I'll rotate these two pipes um, for that so it doesn't get heat soaked. It's kind of a car term but 
uh, the the pipe doesn't get heat, so if it gets too hot, I'll switch it out. Um, but what I do is to keep it fresh, um, I use this uh, decanter briar fresh with my um, pipe cleaners, and I dip a little in here. I mean, maybe one of these days I'll do a video on that, but I generally don't switch tobaccos with pipes unless I change the filter and clean it with the uh, briar fresh. Um, that way it, the taste stays consistent for me. So for today, I'm going to be using my uh, Mer Missouri Marishime Country Gentleman Corn Cob Pipe um, with the uh, Casey, and it has a filter that I've been smoking this Casey Jones uh, Heroes Blend in. Now, you guys have probably seen in the past where I, pipe, I pack my pipe uh, you, can see, you guys can see this. I pack it when, it, especially when it's at the bottom. I just shake it and I dip my pipe in, and I scoop and I pack and I scoop and I pack. Not too tight, but I get it in there. And yes, a little bit at the bottom I do throw away, but it's not lightable at that point. So again, guys, I'm gonna just scoop. And I'm gonna push. Now I know there's guys out there. Don't put your finger in there, Brendan. I know, but I'm gonna push it in lightly. I'm not jamming it hard. I'm gonna scoop again. Whatever comes kind of up onto the bowl here, see it's sticking out a little. I'm just gonna tap it in. I could use my tamper. I have a, my uh, my little tool. You can use a nail. You can use a screw. Whatever you like to use. I use my finger. It's fine. There's no right or wrong way to smoke your pipe. As long as you're enjoying it. If you're smoking it too hot and it's burning your mouth, look up why you have what's called tongue bite. You're smoking it too hot. Okay? Pushing in a little bit. I have it about, uh, if you can see, a three quarters, three quarters way into the bowl. For right now, that's good enough. Normally, I smoke a full pipe. Um, So here's the uh, Casey Jones Heroes Blend. Here's my review on it. Again, we don't want to burn the tobacco. We want to kind of kiss the lighter to the tobacco. It's it's smooth. I'll tell you guys right now. Get some, uh, put my finger over the top. You see a lot of guys do this. They put their finger on the top. Kind of keep some of that heat in. Um, I'll read you this. Casey Jones, locomotive engineer, a tribute to an American legend. Engineered from Golden Virginia's and Silky Black Cavendish, Heroes Blend is an American style aromatic tobacco. The flavor is smooth and sweet with rich notes of warm vanilla that creates a truly crowd pleasing aroma. Now, This is smooth. Whenever you get those Virginias in there, and um, to me the Virginias are those small ribbon, if you ever bought a bag of like quote unquote pipe tobacco, but hey guys, we're really using it to smoke cigarettes, <laughs> remember those? Um, that's your Virginias, okay, those small ribbons of tobacco. But when you mix that with the black Cavendish, it softens it and it's flavorful. Um, is it bursting with flavor? I would give this about a six out of ten. I 
I like it. Will I buy this again? Yes. You guys that have watched my videos in the past, you know that I am a hot smoker. I smoke these hot. Um, I smoke them quick. Um, so to me, something that's cool with the cap condition, it will cool that Virginia's down. I need that. Um, I'll review some of the ones I have in a later video, but I can tell you right now. This is a cool, nice tobacco. Um, it can get a little tongue bite if you're not careful with it, but it's not going to ruin your mouth like, I'll review this guy, the Golden Triangle, the Grand Point. I'll probably do this one in my next video, but um, those are more, mostly Virginia blend. It's mostly Virginia, if anything, but... Um, me smoking as fast and as hot as I do, it will get you tongue bite if you're not careful with that. Um, but as the Casey Jones Heroes blend, um, you don't have to be super, super careful with it. Um, isn't it, isn't an all day smoke? I would say sure, why not? Is it a quick smoke? It can be. Absolutely. Yeah, I, I like it. Will I buy this again? Yes. Um, I, I feel that um, it's smooth, it's flavorful, it's not overly powering with any, like, flavor that I'm like, that's like um, your, your Scotty's Trout Streams and all that. Those are really um, flavorful and there's some that are really nutty. This one... It's smooth. I mean, try it out. Get a pouch. It's not going to cost you that much. I never buy a huge bulk of something that I don't know about because I don't want to get burnt, <laughs> burnt with it. Um, but I would definitely, definitely give this a try. Um, Casey Jones Hills Blend out of my um, Missouri Mirrorsheim Country Gentleman. PA Pipe Smoker here, guys. Um, leave a comment, hit the bell, subscribe. Leave a comment if I'm doing something wrong, if you want me to do something else. Um, I'm hoping to get a few car reviews, and I just rented a decently cool car, and um, probably going to make a review of that car. Why not, right? So, guys, take it easy. Um, see you soon. Thanks.